Hello, my name is Sam. I want to show you how to do partial hammer curls. The reason why you'd want to do partial hammer curls is, let's say you have sore tendons. You can't do the full range of motion, but you don't want to lose your size. You don't want to lose your strength. So it's a good idea to do partial. The other reason, let's say you're getting ready for the Florida or the Ohio bodybuilding championships. And you want to have that nice uh, pump and split in the muscle. And you want to work your forearms. You will want to do partial hammer curls. But the main reason you'll want to do partials in anything is if you have an injury. So, I'm going to show you how to do these. You have your dumbbells. And instead of doing the full range of motion, ouch, like that, you go like this. See? Partial. Not full range. Partial. Here we go. Full range of motion. Partial range of motion. See what I mean? The difference? Now, sometimes when I do uh, the full range of motion on this exercise, I'll show you here. So you're, you got a heavy weight and you, and you can get out five sets. Or, yeah, five reps, I mean. Five. Okay, got my five in, but I want to get a nice pump in that burn. Then finish it out doing partials. What will happen is your arms will stay pumped up for a little while. And um, when you walk out of the gym, everybody will say, Dude, look at his arms. They're fucking swollen. I mean, they're... I didn't mean to say that. But anyway, sorry. <laughs>